Stocking up your ship in Sea of Thieves is arguably the most important thing in the game. You never know when you're going to be ambushed by a swarm of enemy ships, or accidentally sail into a stupid skeleton fleet world event, or have a rock that I swear wasn't there spawn in front of your boat. At the end of the day, supplies are what will make you sink or survive. Running out of wood is a death sentence, running out of fruit is a death sentence, and running out of cannonballs, well, you'll definitely be running. So in order to help you right from the moment you start sailing, I'm going to show you various methods you can do to stock up your boat as fast as possible so you're prepared for any scenario. Method number one is one that we all know and have learned since day one, looting the barrels on the outpost that you spawn on. The likelihood is you will spawn at a fully stocked outpost, meaning there will be an abundance of food, wood and cannibals free for your taking, so make sure to loot every barrel before setting sail. A quick tip to speed this up is to purchase a storage crate from the Merchant Alliance representative for 5,000 gold, and all you need to do is run around each barrel filling it up, saving you time having to fill up your inventory and run to and from your boat. Method number two is by far the most efficient way of getting supplies, though it will require you to break the bank and spend a whopping 5,000 thousand gold on a storage crate from the Merchant Alliance. Head on over to the nearest C4 you can, here are the locations for all of them, and loot every barrel. Surprisingly, a lot of people don't know this, but C4 spawn with a huge amount of high tier food, as well as cannibals. From one C4 you typically can get 100 cannibals and 50 high tier fruit, meaning pineapples, cooked meat and fish. There are some wooden barrels on these forts, but they are a little bit out of the way and hard to find, but if you find them, they should be full and you should be able to get out with 100 wood as well. Method number three is the most expensive method, being that you purchase supplies from the shipwright representative. It will cost you roughly 14,000 gold, but will give you a decent amount of high and mid-tier food, a nice amount of wood, and the perfect number of cannibals for your first enemy encounter. You can also purchase extra blunder bombs and fire bombs if you like, as well as raw food to cook. The only catch for this method is that you must be sailing on a captain ship that you have purchased in order to buy these supplies. Supplies. Alternatively, you can buy supplies from the Merchant Alliance, similar to Method 2, but this time you're buying cannibals, wood, and a fruit crate for a small boost in supplies. It's better than the Captain C supplies, but in return it is actually more expensive, as well as the food from the merchants only giving bananas and the Captain C giving mangoes, pineapples, pomegranates, and coconuts. So there are different pros and cons. I actually recommend buying both, since it's not going to make you go broke, and combined you'll get nearly 100 extra cannibals, a good good amount of fruit, and over 100 wood to start your adventures. Well there you go guys, the best methods to stock up your boat. Personally, whenever I play I use method 1 and 3, as they are the fastest and more easily accessible, but if I pass a C4 I will usually stock up too. The only downside to doing this is that it is rather expensive, and if you end up having some bad luck you may lose your supplies and the gold you spent on them. It's riskier than method 2, but something a lazy guy like me prefers. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tip video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe. It helps out massively and takes two clicks and two seconds. I'm almost at 100,000 subscribers and it would be greatly appreciated. Much love. Take care, everyone.